Good evening everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So we are doing a good old fashioned power hour. So I wanted to put 60 seconds on the clock and be as productive as I could without looking at my phone, without looking at emails, without doing anything other than just trying to get some things done. So first thing I'm doing is loading the dishwasher because it piled up throughout the day as it always does. And then next, I wanted to go ahead and start prepping dinner. So I was making my husband a porterhouse steak. So I actually cook my steak in a cast iron skillet. Uh, but what I do is I preheat my oven to 350. I salt both sides of the steak. I add some onion powder on the steak. Sometimes I do minced garlic. And then I pop the cast iron skillet into the oven and I let the butter melt. So while that's melting, I am sweeping up the floor because we do have two dogs and for whatever reason I sweep this floor every single day and sure enough it's just as dirty come the next day. Feet up on the dashboard. We're driving with the windows down. Did you forget your phone cord? We're driving in the next small town. Dinner at an IHOP. A shower at a truck stop. We're listening to some Johnny Cash. Run away with me. We're on the way to New York City. Take my hand and see. Man, I never looked so pretty. Travel light and see the world right. You'll never know if you never go. So run away with me and say hello to New York City. Travel light and see the world right. You never know if you never go. So run away. So just a little tip on cooking the steak. Once your butter is melted, you want to go ahead and put the cast iron skillet on the stove. And then you want to cook the sides of the steak depending on what temperature you like your steak. So that is what I do when it comes to making steak on the stovetop without having to use a grill. So now I'm just trying to clean up the living room a little bit, pick up the pillows, the blankets, um, get the kids to finish picking up their toys, and ultimately just making the space a little bit more inviting for later on, because my husband and I are going to watch the Bachelorette finale. So I am able to relax a lot more when the area is picked up and tidy, toys are gone. At the end of the night, my goal is to have our day start off fresh in the morning without the clutter and I just have to pick things up before I go to bed. All right, so also it's been a few days, honestly, since I have swept under this uh, <laughs> this table. I'm so embarrassed to admit that, but it's it's been a few days. But as you can tell, I am very, very pregnant now, so sometimes I don't get all of the chores done on a daily basis. I'm just being real with you guys. So here's a question for you guys. The, for those who have tile and wood floors, do you put carpets down? Uh, we actually got rid of one of our shag carpets. What I've realized is with dogs and kids, a shag rug is not something that you want because the shag rugs pick up everything. And the rug I got from Rugs USA, it just wasn't the best quality, so it started to thin out. But we've been without the rug for quite some time now, and I'm trying to debate on if I want to spend that $150 to $200 on a big area rug. I probably should, since we're going to have a baby coming soon. Uh, we need to have, you know, a soft surface for her to lay on, obviously. So I might need to go ahead and <laughs> purchase that rug. Next up, I am packing up some old makeup to send to Glambot. And Glambot 
So Glambot actually purchases your old makeup from you and they actually PayPal you money or you can get credit for their um, shop online. So that's what I'm doing. I am packing up some old makeup that I never use and sending it off and getting a nice little payday. And then lastly, I am prepping my tamales, which you guys will see a video tomorrow on how I'm making my own shredded beef tamales. So I hope this gave you guys some motivation to get up for 60 seconds and get some stuff done. So I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Bye guys.